Hello fish lovers and welcome to Sax Tax, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today we got a bonus video. Why is it called a bonus video when it's 40 minutes long? Why isn't it called a swim tails? Sax swim tails, because I take pride in my sax swim tails. And with this one I screwed up in the editing room, so I usually do like this, I have like 30 videos, then I put them together in a certain order. I film all the time and some video can be 3 weeks old, but you get it now. And I have 30, mini 30 videos and I throw them together in a certain order to make a good flow and make a good, a long video feels like a short video because it's a good flow and it's tips and tricks and it's different tags. But with this one, I screwed up. So, the video is a swim tails, but the editing got, <laughs> some videos got lost and I couldn't make it better, so this is the best that I got, but I don't want to throw it away because it's still my video and it's 40 minutes long. So, now you get what you're gonna see, but I'm not gonna call it swim tails, I'm gonna call it bonus video, behind scenes swim tails or something. So, <laughs> enjoy fish lovers. So, bought some stuff. More fish food actually. First we got the Good Heart Stanker Mix. I hate buying these. Not because they're not good, they're super good, but they, they are ridiculously sneak oh can't talk as usual when the evening comes stand your heart mix they are very expensive but they are very good so but this is something I haven't tried <laughs> I asked him about this for six months ago and he finally hunt them down Clams on the half shell, ocean nutrition. It's really hard to find here in Sweden. But it is. Unfortunately, this portion is one portion, one bag. And it costs the same as one bag of bloodworms and everything else. And in those, you have a lot of cubes and it's a lot of food, so sure. They often cost between, oh, how much did it cost? <laughs> I always buy them in bulk. Yeah, they usually cost seven, eight bucks a piece. Maybe a little bit cheaper for me, but still. And these, this one, were more expensive. Not more expensive, it cost me seven dollars for this, but seven bucks. This is one portion for the Fajaka. You can eat all of this in one city. These small clams, are you kidding me? He couldn't uh, find anyone in Sweden. There wasn't anyone in Sweden who could get me the two pound bag that Corey has. Corey at the Aquarium Poa. His Murphy is eating clams on the half shell. So I have to buy this, but it's too expensive. I can't pay seven dollars and divide two of these into three meals for the Faka. But it's gonna be fun to try it and see what it does. Never, you never has eaten this kind of clam before. Does it say which clam it is? Oh, sorry. Rambling. We're gonna feed him this in this swim tails and see if he likes it. I also bought this. This is ceramic filter media. And ceramic filter media can be really different from another ceramic filter media. This is Sarah. Sipurax. 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 Ah, 
I don't know how to pronounce it Americanly or Englishly but super X and it's super expensive four times as expensive as the ones that I usually buy you have seen me bought the two pound packages and they include a bag in that here I need to have my own bag and of course I have a lot of bags because one time I bought bags and forgot that they sent you bags so I have a lot of bags but this is really good and really lightweight so this is a liter weighs 440 grams but this is really good stuff so that was all for today <laughs> now not all for today for this bit still need to buy fish and the food for my fish but not expensive to buy this when you don't have a lot of money and I also bought this and that is just he actually gave me this I'm still not happy with the Fahaka intake look at that mess I had to poke some holes in it it's too fine it's too finely meshed slows the FX6 down you can see barely any surface agitation but of course I have my blue wheel so no problem with that but I don't want to slow the FX6 down but I actually found online something another intake so that's why I need this and another one that's bigger than this and then you will see when it arrives it takes forever when I buy from China so see you in the next bit guys Probably feeding a lot of fish. All the new food. So a lot of people have shown you how they do with Rapashi, but I'm not gonna be worse, so I'm gonna show you how I do. This is soil and green. It's pure soil and green mix now today. And it's starting to get thick. So wait a little bit because it's really loose in the beginning, but don't wait too long because then you can't put your spoon in there you're just gonna paint these this Mopani driftwood this is going into the Pleco tank And also a little bit on the rock here for the L15. With black guppies, that tank. Black rocks, Nubias, you know what I mean. Which tank? It's great to give, the, give them a big surface area because if you give a little bit a cube like this, same amount but a smaller size one of the plecos will claim that cube, the strongest one will claim it and the other ones can't eat, they have to wait for the other pleco to go away not such a big an issue with soil and green because soil and green doesn't contaminate water as much as bottom scratcher, community plus and stuff like that but still so I'm gonna let this settle and then put them in the tanks So hello fish lovers, I got something in the mail, yep, it was exactly what I thought it was. So here we have new life back from Ultra Red. Isn't it weird that I buy these things from Japan and have them ship them to Sweden and it's cheaper than if I would have bought it at my local fish store or online from some internet pet site 
To me, that's weird. Really great food for goldfish. I've said it before. But this really brings out the red in them. A lot of food says color uh, enha enhancing. As you guys know, I really like the advanced hikari. Great foods. But I want to play with this a little bit more. I tried one of these and they weren't as popular. The goldfish didn't like them as much, but the colors, the red colors, really turned out great with this food. And this is a uh, nice thing that I haven't tried before. Oh, I hope it's nice. This is Saki Kai's Advanced Turtle Food. And I couldn't even get this online when I first got the turtles. But I read about it and it's supposed to, oh you can see it here, 88% down comparison uh, reduction of odor concentration for aquariums where Sakyu Karo turtle was fed. So, I don't know. That could mean this food isn't any good. It's only fibers and stuff. But it's 41% protein, so we'll see if the turtles will like it. But it's supposed to be for carnival turtles. Oh, I can't talk, sorry guys. Carnivore turtles. So I never tried it. I couldn't get it. But now I have it. So we've been. Uh, it's really late now, but I wanted to show you this before I open it myself. But the next bit can be when we feed this for the first time to the turtles. They have a really good sense of smell, so they are gonna recognize if it smells good or bad immediately to them and of course they're gonna like the frozen fish and stuff like that more because they are carnivores so the instinct goes to that fish but they really like this actually it's pretty expensive to feed the turtles this is not cheaper no oh, it's the same amount just bigger pellets with more air in them but still, 88% less odor in the aquarium sounds really good. I don't have problems with that because I do... Hasn't been that long. But at least these guys are always fun for the camera. Let's glare if I take the lighting down a little bit so how will they like new life oh, you can see how dark the camera is now because the tank is so bright it's new life spectrum <laughs> I had it before so I know they like it but it's a different food we'll see how they will react for the first time getting it. You have to throw them in because they don't sink as well as advanced hikari. Goldfish are always happy about food. So I know you think I'm weird when I say that I can see a difference between this food and hikari advanced. They get crazy with that stuff. But I want to feed this exclusively for a month and really see how they behave, how good they look. If I feed them all kinds of stuff, like I tried to do with all other fish, but, I, but with goldfish I, w I want to have it in periods. Now we have a period with new life spectrum for a while, then we go back with two advanced hikari and we can see the difference. And what I think is going to happen is that the big guy is gonna get a lot more red that guy was silver when I got him with only red on the head he's gonna be that orange red is gonna be 
as red as his cap and his cap is gonna go gonna look insane that is what I hope with the ultra red food and I feed him a lot you saw how much was sinking I feed like this two times a day so now you can see the amount but I also have over filtration every time and some of you are saying I also have jubel filters but have in mind I do a lot of things with my jubel filters I don't have just jubel filters and use their media and use I change the power head and whatnot so and most important thing because when you're doing videos like this you really need to tell people that don't know because they haven't been in the hobby for very long this is 60 gallon cube and no still no you can't have this amount of goldfish in here you can have it with my filtration the size they are right now and every third day I change water till here So 90% water change every third day, right now. But all these fish is gonna grow bigger, and I don't know how long I'm gonna <laughs> change water every third day on that tank when I have, oh, I don't know, 12 other tanks to take care of. So it looks good right now. Somehow they seem a bit scared of me or the camera. I don't know why. I'm gonna back up and see if that is the case. Weird. So, they like that stuff, but they don't like it as much as Kari Advanced. But maybe this is better for them, more green in it. I don't bashing on the food because the fish doesn't eat it. They, they are going to eat it, trust me. But, just saying. Something about the smell with advanced curry. Even my go the yellow labs go crazy when I throw them Saki Curry's advanced goldfish food. So, enough out of that. To the next bit. I'm gonna do an 80%. It's only gonna get worse. <laughs> if your plant looks like this when you do a big water change, you have a heavily planted tank. I really love this tank. Looks so natural when everything is bright green and we have the beautiful fish swimming in it around it. And all the fish come from the areas where this, this, these types of grass grow. Pretty tall and super green in the summer. So, a super green tank with just one plant completely covered and successful without CO2 that is always fun but I'm gonna change the water now and start filling it up because it's a lot of fish in here this tank needs more credit on my channel always such a bad glare because it's in the middle of the apartment opposite right opposite of the tank my TV I I don't know what I'm, oh, I'm gonna do I have, an, I, have, I have an idea now so I'm gonna do that for the next swim tails this is just one of the little bit no it can be in this swim tail so to the next bit. Hello fish lovers. For a long time I've been wanting to show you this tank and how great it really looks in real life.
still some glare from the last tank that hasn't turned its lights off but you can still see how green this tank really is Some Bolivian rams enjoy the shade on the bottom. A lot of teacup plotties. Of course, cardinal tetras. And 40 green neon tetras. I always wanted a tank like this. Nature in your home. And this is nature in your home as it best, if you ask me, because this tank is really low maintenance and has a lot of beautiful fish in it and a lot of beautiful plants that help with the maintenance on this side it's just a wall of Valisneria giant Gigantia I always forget to do a video on this tank because I don't think it looks as good on camera as it does in person have I shown you on top before? oh wait, now I have this tripod this would have been easier with your hands but you can see it's an overflow so all of that down to the bottom is filter media all the back here and on the bottom bottom over there I have a strong Eheim return pump and these are my Shihirios lights 39 each super strong I mean if you can grow plants like this in a tank that is almost three feet tall then you know you have a good light I just love this tank I know these ta uh, plants grow slow uh, they tend to be more red brownish color but they could get green with the right amount of nutrients and the right amount of light and I started this tank with a clay based substrate and a tropica plant soil so it's like a fertilizer long long run fertilizer underneath the clay based substrate and then just heavy gravel on top of that and here we have it So this tank looks good from all the sides and it's low maintenance even though it's a 70 what is it 75 gallon cube so yeah 75 gallon cube low maintenance this is the type of aquarium everybody could have grow these plants that cover the whole tank they will help you with cleaning up the tank and still look beautiful for months and months I clean I don't I don't even remember how long ago I clean clean the pump the filters in the back could be seven months 
and I'm gonna go as long as the filter goes. I'm not gonna clean it because I clean uh, in the beginning I took it out, uh, and when you took it, take it out, it's a, a huge mess. But every time I said to myself, this filter could have gone longer without any problems. So much filter media. Pretty much works as a sump. So fill all the back wall with ceramic and then you have the next, you can fill that up with more ceramic. So it's a lot of filter media in there. And I really wanted to show this tank a little bit more because I really enjoy this one. It's hard to shoot a good video of this tank. See you in the next bit guys. So the lights just went on in the 145 gallon. I never thought that Corridora X would make it in here. It's always nice to see eggs. It's a lot. Probably was even more and they have been eating it. I wish I have time to raise these. Super bad glare right now just when this light is on. Just a quick one everybody. I found an Anubias Heterophila. He only got two, but as you can see, pretty good size. Never had it before. Never kept it. It's not super unusual or anything, but it's more unusual than Botteri, Coffeefolia, Angustfolia, Nana. So it's a little bit more light green colored and the leaves aren't as thick. So this one I'm gonna throw in with the goldfish, I think keep it in the pot for now should have used the tripod <laughs> sorry guys don't want to see it in the bag let's see how it looks right remember these shaky videos old school from my channel Looks good, right? Like I said, not as thick leaves on it, so maybe I shouldn't put it with the goldfish. What do you guys think? Maybe some other tank? Yep, some other tank. They are not as thick as the other Anubias leaves used to be. Nope. 50% less thick leaves. It looks great. A little bit more light green. I don't know. I'm gonna put it somewhere. So till the next day, till the next bit, guys. <laughs> Here we got Mr. Kingpin. He's been shredding his uh, crayfish. Fed him two crayfishes this morning, and he's been. Working on them all day. He still loves apple snails more. But they are actually illegal to sell or trade or give away in Sweden. Since uh, I don't remember. It's been, I think it's nine years. But I still have some. It's not illegal to still have them or find them. I found them. But if anyone is watching this and 
didn't want to destroy because you need to destroy them if you don't want to keep them someone has apple snails and don't want to kill them by hand or flush them down you can really help me by sending me apple snails aka mystery snails and Mr. Faka can destroy them I would never throw them away super expensive to give him food and he really loves apple snails and they are great for him but I fed Rapashi in the black guppy tank where my where I have have my plecos but I also have a lot of Malaysian trumpet snails so this is just the ones that were attached close to the <laughs> Rapashi food and these are grown-ups I don't takes too much time to take out all the small ones I actually really like having uh, Malaysian trumpet snails in aquariums they do keep the, the tank very well balanced they eat everything that the fish don't eat and they dig up the substrate so Malaysian trumpet snails if you don't mind how the gravel will look and you shouldn't mind if you have a lot of plants this tank is open it wouldn't be nice with having a tank covered in Malaysian trumpet snails uh, but if you have a lot of plants and black gravel like I have I can show you the tank in this tank I don't mind you can't even see them did you guys even know that I had so much Malaysian trumpet snails in the gravel take a closer look and you will see them everywhere you will also see that I trimmed down the dwarf sagittaria and I have a lot of black beard algae now but don't mind that the video is about Malaysian trumpet snails but it's actually they are actually really good to keep with your fish and in the planted tanks they don't eat plants they just eat food and break down fish poo so you should keep them yeah now when we have the tank we can might as well show you all the guppy fries finally it took a while for these guys especially because I moved them shouldn't do that move them from tank to tank all the time I tell people don't do that and I do that all the time <laughs> that, that's not really good even though it's probably the same parameters in the waters because it's your tanks and you have the same water still a lot of things gravel substrate plants fish stock and filtration they change the water so it's not the same water even though two tanks are next to each other yep but we're gonna talk about this big guy here hello what's going on mr. kingpin don't want to turn the camera hello hello Kimpin. so cute love that fish yep and he definitely oh you're flaring up he's showing you're a big boy I never seen him puff up that would be cool to see they sometimes do that to stretch the muscles but never seen it He's super cool. I'm gonna turn off the streamer. Fluel streamer. The biggest one. Not gonna be able to, to put in. Oh, don't run away on me. We are not gonna be able to put them in. 
we're gonna be able to put them in but they're gonna spread across the tank because it's pretty good circulation in here so I'm gonna turn that off then we come back and see when he munches on the Malaysian trumpet snails at least I think he does I, us I usually put them in in the other tank when he lived in the 138 gallon I threw in Malaysian trumpet snails all the time and that that is what he was doing at night hunting them blowing in the sand so uh, just a second guys so here we have him guys the last feeding was last night and he decided to wait until the lights went out and then hunt for them when they dug themselves into the gravel I don't know why maybe he hunts them for sport but now we're gonna try this clamps on a half shell yep he's interested see how much he will like this I'll take the top off and some lighting to us so we can see it better without dropping the light in Yeah, not too much. He's getting suspicious. What are you doing with the light? Are you gonna catch me again? No. So, here we go. Never tried these before. Paid seven bucks, hopefully he will eat them. He has never seen them before. Are you trying to intimidate it? No, you want it. Never seen it before. Some puppers need a lot of time to eat something they never ate before. Come on, man. I bought this just for you. Waiting for them. Six months I waited for them. Eat them. Maybe my puffer isn't hungry enough. You know what I think? He's lazy. Because he can crush clams. I've seen it. Easily. He crushed clams uh, just for fun. He crushed a white uh, wizard trapdoor snail. Oh, the store called them white wizards. White wizard trapdoor snail. And their shell is super thick and really hard. I mean, I can stand on them without them breaking. If it's a big wizard. And he was chewing down on it on the evening just for fun. No food in it. Are you kidding me right now? Can I defrosted all of them? So you're gonna let the guppy price eat your food? You're so boring. Come on, man. Show me your true self. Not gonna get anything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So sixteen clams in a half shell. If Corin buys them at that price, the same price as I have. I understand why he complains about the food to Murphy. But he buys the huge bags and he has a, his own store so he can buy them directly from the supplier. Oh, you disappoint us all. With this crap. Come on, Mr. Pinky.
Why do you always do that when I try to make a video? If you start eating them, when I start filming, I'm gonna net them out. Learn you a lesson. If you don't eat on camera, you don't eat at all. Ah, maybe he wasn't that hungry, I don't know. Like I said, something. sometimes he needs to get used to new food before he can eat them. And can take a while, he's gonna eat them during the day, one at a time. You're shaking. You wouldn't have survived in the wild. You need to eat more instinct than that, old pal. <laughs> you want your apple snails. I'm gonna cut the video here. Sorry guys. Can't always make it happen. <laughs> so sorry guys. But I thought it might be fun to have in the video <laughs> how grumpy he can be and when he refused to eat food. So it's not an easy thing to keep a puffer. You put in high priced foods and he can ignore them, you need to net them out and feed him something else. But I wanted to keep that in the video so you can see why I call him grumpy all the time. It's not because he looks like a grumpy old man. It's because he is grumpy. Yep, you gotta get food now. Crayfish. Small ones. See if he finally eats those. Sorry. Those were good. It's gotten better at knowing which parts are really good and tasteful. So the front of the head there's nothing good but the tail goes in a little bit and if I feed him really small crayfish he eats the whole thing so next time I'm gonna next summer when I can buy fish from that guy again crayfish I'm gonna ask him for take the smallest ones and uh, he's gonna be super happy about that because everybody else is gonna eat them personally so they are <laughs> so they want the biggest ones looks like he's going for the whole thing today that is because he's small if the head is big too big for him to eat uh, front to back he needs to attack it from above and then he will just take a bite in the middle of that piece of head and leave the rest on the bottom as you can see you have more food give that piece up the video is getting long because I show you show them your mistakes as well and also I put in the 007 L Pleco in here because he eats meat so he can eat all the leftovers at night when the fahaka is full there's a small one can you show us when you eat the whole thing yeah because it's small enough to fit into his mouth with the big ones he takes the claws, he takes the tails and then leave the rest. But with the small ones, because he can get him into his mouth, he eats them. Eat the whole thing. You always do that, but not when I want to show people, of course. But this is great for his teeth. Even though he likes 
This is his second favorite food, but his favorite food are apple snails. But I had 140 apple snails. I don't remember exactly the time. Maybe one of you does. I had it in a video when I found them. Found them. And they are illegal here, so I can't get more. But there were 140 of them, and I'm down to four in one tank and six in another tank. Oh, by the way, that apple snail tank isn't there anymore. Haven't yet? Haven't I shown you that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Some videos get deleted because I don't think they are good enough. And some things is on my Patreon, so I do make videos on my Patreon site. Come on, you begged for food all morning. Now you eat like huh? you eat like a princess for being a puffer, Mr. Kingpin. Munch it down. Maybe I should just start to do live stream videos like people do. No, I can't do that. What if he decides not to eat? And that video is already out. Bad video. Yep. I'll show you the, the tank. So I got a lot of algae on this plant. But that's okay, going from high light to low light. I actually have a surprise. Two new great things for this tank coming up in a video soon. So I'm not going to talk about that too much. But the endlers are still alive. Is it me or is it less adults now? Because it's been weird at night hunting them and they sleep at the surface surface area and I don't know but still we got so many fry it's hard to maybe like this Imagine when all of these are grown, fully grown. So you're done for the day. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, as usual. Hope you like these swim tales. And you can tell me if you didn't enjoy watching him not eating. <laughs> it was just, I had some other things that I said in there. I wanted to keep and I wanted to show you at least one time how grumpy and weird he can be about food. So Kingpin says goodbye and he also says, says please help me by liking the video, sharing the video, And ask me anything in the comment section. Bye bye fish lovers from Sax Tanks. Quasi Aquarium guy. Rumble.